All right, uh, I wanted to do a quick review of this lovely looking thing. It's a Sigma uh, D41. So copy of the Martin, authorized by Martin. And you can see it's got the abalone, it's got the abalone inlays. Uh, I cleaned up the fretboard, it's a very pretty pale uh, rosewood on the fretboard. Really nice aged spruce top and very pretty looking uh, rosewood on the back. And, uh, but when you look inside the body, it's definitely laminated because there's no rosewood on the inside. The in internal timber of that layer, it looks like, gosh no, some nondescript, non-figured wood. Um, it's got a bound neck. And what was, I thought was interesting was it's got like a little bit of black uh, edging here. I and mean, they didn't do the black line here on this white, which is odd. And the neck also, and the headstock's a bit idiosyncratic. It's got quite a lot of distance here. And it's also got this sort of volute here, which I've seen in court guitars before. So um, when I got the guitar, it didn't have a label. So I actually just faked that label. I, I copied the uh, Martin and Sigma logos. And I, th someone had written the uh, serial number in texture really badly on the inside. I copied that across. So I don't know whether this is a Taiwanese or a Korean Sigma and quite what uh, vintage it is, but it's possibly a 90s model. So anyway, I'll just play it and I'm going to compare it with my Eastman, which is my benchmark. Eastman, an all solid guitar. So capo on the fourth fret. <laughs> Last point about this guy, you can hear it's got a nice tone. Um, reasonably low saddle with a little bit of uh, channeling put in there to get the string break across. But um, it's actually fine, I think. And it's got a slim neck. So even though it's an old guitar, they really went for the the, 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 the slim neck and it's a one and 11 16th nut. Um, if you watched my other videos, um, I've already reviewed this in detail. This is a lovely guitar, but um. I had to reduce the saddle height to the point where it's barely peeping above the the bridge, which is really disappointing for such a new guitar. It's only six months old. Um. about it is this guitar has look at the back it's got um even despite the really low string break and the low saddle it still sounds really nice it's got a bit more punch to it but the this old d41 has got even though it's only laminated it's just got a little bit more of that airiness and overtones that it must be somehow magically coming from this uh this rosewood so <laughs> Yeah, it just sounds a little bit less substantial in the top end, but really, I mean, the, in Australia, the Eastman is about a $1,200 guitar. I mean, I bought this guitar for $350. Um, I'd say this is a $500 to $800 sounding guitar. And, uh, Most people don't capo like I do, but um, I'll take that off and we'll have to listen to the bottom end. Pretty 
nice. And what I really liked about this guitar was the sound of this. It's those top strings. So definitely someone would be really happy with that guitar and it's on it's on sale at the moment on eBay. It's got $280 on it with a day to go in Australia. Um, and just so you can hear the comparison, here's the uh, Eastman. <clears throat> As I say, that one's the rosewood laminate. This one is the solid uh, mahogany with the figured mahogany back. And they, I dare say they both have a Sitka spruce top. they're having taken the carpo off. So a little comparison, as I say, um, an all solid Eastland guitar with a very pretty, would you call it vintage? It's probably 20 years old at least. Uh, Sigma D41 with gold, Grover tuners. So uh, look at the back there. They've joined the neck there as they do in Korea, maybe, Taiwan. Um, a join here. Uh, so it's multiple piece neck. Uh, and then the abalone high-end bling. Really nice top. Really great condition guitar. Saddle low, but um, you could even bring it down a fraction more. It's a really nice old guitar. <laughs> Maybe it's lacking a little bit of the substance and fullness from the all solid guitar, but it's got a it's got a nice big resonant voice and it's got uh, some lovely harmonics and overtones and airiness. And you're looking at something that's probably ten times cheaper than the uh, the one it's copying. And it's certainly not 10 times worse, but I'm not about to say this is going to somehow replace a genuine Martin high-end dreadnought. But um, if you can get this for 500 bucks, wow.